we calculate the pH to be able to, you know, kind of nicely determine uh, how to say what the concentration of hydronium ion is in solution. So, the pH, well, some people say that's the power of the hydrogen or the power of the hydronium. Well, it's kind of that, you know. It doesn't really mean any of that kind of thing. P stands for negative log. <laughs> that's it right there. The P is the negative log, and the H, we'll say, stands for the hydronium and the concentration of the hydronium. So when you actually, now logarithms is something that you, you do in mathematics, right? And, and, and logarithms, quite simply, if I just give you a brief little rundown sort of thing, what's the log of the number 10 to the 2? The log of that number, to the base 10 we say, is the number 2. So the log of that number equals 2. What's the log of 100? Well, that's 10 to the 2, so it's 2. What's the log of the number 1,000? Well, the number 1,000 is 10 to the 3, and the log of that is just the power to which that, 10, that, that, that base 10 is taken, so it's 3. Does that, does that make sense? Well, what's the log of the number 50? And you go, well, I, 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 that's 10 to the what? This is 10 to the who? I, I never did that. Well, it just, if you actually just punch in your calculator log of 50, what that does is it tells you what that power to which that 10 is taken. And it's about something like 1.69 or something like that. So the log of 50 would be around 1.7 or so, something like that, to two significant digits. Cool, hey? So that's what logs are. Uh, it's just, well, logarithms are really just take a, a, a base number and the, the power to which it's taken. And for logarithms and pH, we do to the base 10. So, if I said to you that the hydronium ion concentration in the solution is 1.4 times 10 to the negative 4 moles per liter, you say, I say, what's the pH? You got to be smart enough to be able to do this right away to see if you're going to get the pH right. And, and you are smart enough. Look, just listen. Here's what you know that the concentration of hydronium and hydroxide in solution in water normally are both 10 to the negative 7, right? Both of them are 10 to the negative 7. But then I say, oh, the solution is altered. And now the hydronium concentration is 10 to the negative 4. Well, then that means actually that the hydroxide ion in solution is around 10 to the negative 10 or so because it's still has to equal 10 to the negative 14. Actually, it'll equal about 10 to the negative 11 here because the numbers in front are different than 1.0. But here's the deal 10 to the negative 4, 10 to the negative 10 for the hydroxide in that solution. Which one's larger? The hydronium is. 10 to the negative 4 is bigger than 10 to the negative 10, so that means the solution's an acid. Right, so you're going to calculate this and you're going to get an acid pH. How do you do that? You punch into a calculator this number right here and you go negative log that number. So when you take your scientific calculator and you turn it on and then you go punch this in, you go 1.4 in your calculator, then you go second function button and you go find that comma, that's your EE, your exponent button. That's how you should punch these numbers in. So, 1.4, second function EE, negative 4, negative 4. Now, by the way, <laughs> what did I just tell you? Take the negative log of that. So, the best thing to do, of course, is to go negative, then log. And then, 1.4, second function EE, negative 4, enter. And here's what I get in my calculator. I get the number 3.85387, blah, blah, blah. So, some people look at that and they go, well, that's two significant digits, so keep two significant digits. And I will keep two significant digits. So the answer is 3.85. Now you're going to say, wait a minute, that's three significant digits. Now I'm not going to go through the proof with you, but you have to listen to this. You have to pay attention to this. You have to understand this. The number of significant digits in your calculation to find pH is going to give you the number of decimal places that you keep. The numbers in front of the decimal are not significant, are not significant when you calculate a pH or you take a log of something. Look, I, like I said, there's a proof for that, and I, and I do it for my students all the time. They really love it, but here's the deal. You just have to know that the number of significant digits in your concentration gives you the number of decimal places you keep in your pH. Conversely, if you were working backwards, the number of decimal places in the pH tell you the significant digits. Okay. So 3.85, hey, that's an acidic uh, uh, answer. And yes, because we said that this was going to be acidic solution. There we go, we got it. Okay, now look at the next one. The hydroxide ion concentration in a solution is 6.4 times 10 to the negative 2. Now that means that the hydronium is around 10 to the negative 12 or so, really about 10 to the negative 13. 
So that means that the hydroxide is going to be bigger than the hydronium, and so what we get when we calculate the pH here should be a base, a pH greater than 7. So how do you calculate that? Well, there's a couple of ways. I'll show you one way right now, and then I'll actually give you a really good way in just a second. Here's what we know, that the Kw equals the hydronium ion concentration times the hydroxide ion concentration. So, if we wanted the hydroxide, uh, if we want the hydronium, because to calculate the pH we need the negative log of the hydronium, but this is the hydroxide, right? So we've got to find that hydronium. Well, the hydronium is going to equal the Kw divided by the hydroxide. So what you do is, in your calculator, you take that number, which is the Kw. What is that? That's the equilibrium constant for water. So it's 1 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by this number, 2.64 times 10 to the negative 2, <laughs> and enter. And what you get there is going to be the hydronium ion concentration. And all I'm going to do with that right now is go negative log second function answer, which is the negative sign down there, enter, and I get a pH, a pH. And that pH here is going to be, well, some people would say, well, you're going to keep three significant digits, so the pH is 12.4. No. If it's three significant digits here, and it was three significant digits in the KW, 1.00 times 10 to the negative 14, you keep three numbers after the decimal in your pH. So the pH is 12.4. When you take the negative log of that, right there, you're going to get 12.42 at 2. And ladies and gentlemen, that's a base, just like we predicted. Now let's do some calculations involving some really standard types of solutions. And here's our concentration. What's the pH?